Hi, Travis Porter here again with my Educate Me video for professional communications. Today I want to talk about something that's been a very important, huge part of my life for over a decade now. And that is the University of Georgia, but more specifically the history of Georgia Bulldogs football. Georgia originally was a founding member of the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Association, one of the first collegiate conferences formed in the U.S. They participated in this establishment from about 1985 to 1921. In 1932, the Georgia Bulldogs left the Southern Conference to form and join the SEC, the Southeastern Conference, where Georgia has won the third most national, or excuse me, SEC football championships with 12 behind Alabama and Tennessee. But the University of Georgia did not always start off as the Bulldogs. The first mention of Bulldogs in association with Georgia Athletics occurred in November of 1901 at the Georgia-Auburn football game played in Atlanta. The Georgia fans had a badge saying, Eat em, Georgia, with a picture of a Bulldog tearing a piece of cloth. But it was not until 1920 that the nickname Bulldog was used to describe the athletic teams of the University of Georgia. And the Bulldogs would sound good because there's a certain kind of dignity about a Bulldog and a certain kind of ferocity, so it really stuck. Sanford Stadium is the on-campus playing venue for football at the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia. It seats about 93,000 people and is the 10th largest stadium in the NCAA. Games played there are said to be played between the hedges due to the field being surrounded by privet head hedges, which have been a part of the design of the stadium since it opened in 1929. The current hedges were planted in 1996 after the originals were taken out to accommodate soccer for the 1996 Summer Olympics. The stadium is the 11th largest stadium in the U.S. and the 18th largest such stadium in the world. But UGA, how could we forget UGA? UGA is the name of a lineage of the ever so famous white bulldogs which have served as the mascot of the University of Georgia since 1956. All deceased Uggas, Uggas are actually entered into a mausoleum near the main entrance to Sanford Stadium, making Georgia the only school to bury its past mascots inside the football stadium. The Bulldogs have three main rivalries, Auburn, Florida, and Georgia Tech. All three rivalries were contested first over a hundred years ago, but it's the Florida-Georgia rivalry that makes me a true Georgia Bulldog fan. And this is a game that's played annually by the University of Florida Gators and the University of Georgia Bulldogs. The game was first played in 1904 and has been played every season since with the sole exception of a wartime interruption in 1943. This matchup between the Southeastern Conference opponents is one of the most prominent rivalry games in college football and has been held in Jacksonville, Florida, my hometown, since 1933, making it one of the few remaining neutral site rivalries there is in college football. Obviously, growing up in Jacksonville, Florida, you choose either to be a Florida Gator fan or you choose to be a Georgia Bulldog fan. And obviously, my two Florida Gator parents we're not too happy when I told them that I wanted to be a Georgia Bulldog fan. And it is the Florida-Georgia game in 1980 that is one of the, that is the most popular of all time. The game actually has its own name, Run, Lindsay Run. Trailing the Florida Gators with their perfect season on the line and their number two ranking in Jeopardy. The Bulldogs executed one of the most famous plays in college football history. Georgia was behind 21-20 with time running out facing third down and long from their own seven yard line. After scrambling around in his own end zone, Bulldog quarterback Buck Ballou found wide receiver Lindsey Scott open in the middle of the field near the Georgia 25 yard line and hit him with a 25 yard pass. Lindsey Scott darted through Florida secondary and outran everyone down the sideline, scoring the game-winning touchdown with only seconds left on the game clock. 
Longtime Georgia radio announcer Larry Monson's legendary call of the play gave the game its nickname, and it went like this. Georgia in a stand-up five. They may or may not blitz. Buck back. Third down on the eight. In trouble. He got a block from behind him. Got a throw on the run. Complete to the 25. To the 30. Lindsey Scott, 35, 40. Lindsey Scott, 45, 50, 45, 40. Run, Lindsey. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Lindsey Scott, Lindsey Scott, Lindsey Scott. And it was that improbable 93-yard pass play that sealed the Georgia Bulldogs 26 to 21 victory and kept Georgia's national championship hopes alive. The Bulldogs moved into number one the next week in the next round of polls and would go on to win the 1980 national championship. And it is for those reasons that I am and always will be a Georgia Bulldog. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Thank you.